Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life, my parents, this school, Western civilization. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. Damn. Class president, dummy. It says class president. I know. I that's know. you? I'm the most suitable candidate I know. <laughs> yeah, so is your mom. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. This is gonna be fun. Harassing some old homeless guy is fun. It is. You'll vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. You guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live Shut on campus. Up. Please, I don't please, know. Please, Security please, managers, they please. cost a lot of money. Oh, I have money. I can pay you. Good. I've always been a politician at heart. Just get me a part for my radio and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. Not much. Let me see. Uh, it's Halloween. All the prefects are at some party and the teachers are entertaining. I use that word loosely, the kids. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> what? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. Anything at all. Chow spotty. Give it back. And you should stay out of the girls' dorm, you little perv. Ugh, I see you undressing me with your eyes, sicko. You wish. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. So, tell me, Petey, do you Come like on. watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get, that fuel I, your filthy little fantasies? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? 
I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie. Because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! Boys and morons! As usual. I'm just toughening Ow. him up. Ow. Turning him into a man or a woman or something. Friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. Yet, I think he might be in trouble. Please? Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. That's Russell Slocker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Now run along, Ow! peace stain, before you mark the carpet. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir, I never pugilized in my life. Now go out that door. And what are you gonna do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. <Boop>. Stop. <laughs> down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale. We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay.